So if you're like I was and are interested in unit studies, but really think, wow, that sounds like a lot of work. Listen to this review of Campfire Curriculums. If you're new here, I'm Ryan, a christ following wife and a homeschool mom to three boys. Here we talk all things homeschool and we will learn together how to use our roles as wife, mom, teacher, and homemaker in order to glorify God. So I've always thought the idea of unit studies was really cool. You know, really diving deep into one subject area and diving into the math of that and the science of that and the history of that. But I just always thought, wow, that's a lot of work to plan out all the activities and to find all the books and to plan all the field trips and all the experiments and all the things. So I'd kind of flirted with the idea of finding a curriculum that did that for me, but I hadn't really jumped the gun yet. Then I was contacted by Campfire Curriculums and asked if I would test out one of their units and they would give it to me for free for an honest review. And so here it is. We got to try out the Volcanology unit, and this was really fun. So I'm going to give you a list of my pros and the cons when it comes to at least this unit of Campfire Curriculums. I can't speak to all the other units. This is the only one we've tried. But first, I thought I'd give you a little peek inside to see what it looks like. When you buy the curriculum, you get different downloads. So you can download a preschool version of the book, an elementary version, a high school version or an adult version, which I love how it includes all of the family. So we downloaded the elementary version and the preschool version. And then my husband and I used my iPad for the adult version because I didn't want to have to print out all three of them. In the beginning, there's a note about how it works and it shows you if you want to do the most basic version of this, here's what you do. If you want to do kind of the middle of the road, as they call it, here's what you do. If you want to go all in and just immerse yourself, then do X, Y, Z, which I love that because it's super, super adaptable. And then there's a work cited page. Here's your supply list and what lesson you will need all those supplies for. So that's really handy to have your supplies on hand before. There's a table of contents, intro, prologue, all of that. Then we have the actual first lesson, which is there's always a story to go along with it, which we would take turns. We actually did popcorn style reading between me, my husband, and my two sons. Then there's lots of visuals. This is the different types of volcanoes. Then there's a little game that you can play to see if you are listening to the story or not. And then it goes back into the story. There's a little grammar blurb. Like I said, it involves everything in here. It talks about the two eruption styles. Then this is how you can tell the different types of volcanoes from one another. And then here is an activity. This was my son's favorite by far. The very first activity we did where you get to shake up soda and watch it spray everywhere. I mean, soda, sugar, mess, kids dream, right? And then at the bottom, there's an explanation where you have to fill in the blanks and it kind of helps you know what you learned. And there's a connection point at the end of each lesson. And then we're on to lesson two. So that was just kind of an idea of what a sample lesson would look like. There's also faith talks in there throughout, which I think is really cool. So it even includes Bible. This is a Christian curriculum. And here's the preschool or the pre-early reader one. And so there's no real reading in there. My preschooler would just kind of sit in with us and listen the best he could, but you know, he would wander in and out. But then they had cute little things that they could do. So this was an activity where we talked about different liquids and how some liquids run quickly and some run slowly. So that was kind of fun for him. Of course, he just scribbled all over the page because, you know, three-year-olds. We talked about lava bombs and he drew those. There's all sorts of coloring pages throughout here and just different little tracing activities and hands-on activities that they could do. He actually built his own little volcano, which was fun. Like this one. Yeah, you made paper volcanoes. Because the no wall bring. So these are very tailored to the different age groups. Okay, so on to my pros list. So like I said, I love that this is family oriented. They really wanted to write a curriculum that included dads, which is so rare in the homeschool community, right? So I know some dads do homeschool, but a lot of them kind of talk about mom doing everything, which is fine, um, but included all ages, like I said, down 
all the way down to preschool, all the way up to adult, everyone could get involved. And even on the adult side, like there was some math problems and stuff that were in our books that I was like, whoa, like it was getting us actually involved in learning, not just involved in teaching. I love how beautiful the pictures are. They are very colorful and just pretty to look at. It's not your typical um, textbook type pictures. I love that all the work is done for me. I didn't have to go piece this all together and look up the information myself. I like that the lessons are short. They actually tell you to set a timer and whatever you get done in that timer, pause it and start again the next day, which is really nice for us because sometimes you like to sit and just dwell on a conversation and really talk things out. Sometimes those faith talks would get us on a rabbit trail. Sometimes we would start an experiment and then we would try to do it a different way or, you know, things would take longer. And sometimes we would go speedy fast. We did this in the evenings with my husband. And so, you know, our time in the evening is kind of short. After my husband gets home, we eat dinner and we clean up and we do baths and we do story and we do bed. Typically there's very little wiggle room in there. So the fact that the, these were short and could just be kind of slipped into our evening routine was really helpful. I loved that the stories were actually interesting stories. It wasn't just facts. It wasn't just cheesy made up. I mean, it was kind of made up, but it wasn't just like hokey. Um, you could actually see relationship dynamics and you could, there was a lot of dialogue and stuff. So it was really fun to actually read the stories together and they were excited to see what would happen next. Like I mentioned before, I love that it was adaptable. I love that we could shift the time. I love that it was adaptable for different ages, that it wasn't here is what you have to do, but they were just like, let it be natural, let it flow and go with your natural family rhythm. And whatever you end up doing is what you end up doing. And that was really, really nice because I felt very free using this curriculum. I liked that there was links embedded. And so my husband and I using our iPad for the adult book, all of the links that we needed to YouTube videos and stuff like that were already in there. So you would just click it and then we would cast it to our TV. And so everyone could see it. I didn't have to sit there and type in everything or search for the videos myself. They were there and available. I also love that this is inexpensive. Their prices are really, really reasonable. You can either just print the curriculum at home. You can send it off to be printed. We did some of ours at Family Nest Printing. You can also, if you just don't want to spend any money other than the curriculum itself, you can just download it to your iPad and it's right there. And then finally, I do love the Christian aspect of this. I mentioned that before, how there was a faith talk in it. So in the stories, things happened and those kind of brought up different points that we could talk about for character and stuff like that. And it was easy to see how science and the Bible are related also. Now, my cons. I only have one. And it's really only that this helped me see that unit studies are not for us for our regular homeschool. Okay, so I had kind of flirted with the idea of doing unit studies as like our actual curriculum. Like that's how we would, that was going to be our approach for homeschool. But doing this, I was like, no, like I like it and it's fun, but I think for our family, it fits better as an extracurricular, as something on the side. And they even say this is an extracurricular. Um, you wouldn't just use this as your sole curriculum. But this helped me see that unit studies um, for our whole curriculum is not where I want to go. Um, I have seen that this is something that we could use on Fun Fridays or during the summer. This will be a really good fit for us. It just will not really fit into our everyday life during the school year. One, because I want my husband to be a part of it and he's only home in the evenings and we have sports and we have church and all the things in the evening. So it's not always possible to do it often enough. And also it would just be too much to add into our regular homeschool day. As for the curriculum itself, I have no complaints, no cons, but it just helped me to see that unit studies is something that we will do for fun on a fun Friday or over the summer. It is not something we want to incorporate into our everyday. So if you're interested, I will place the link down below where you can go check out Campfire Curriculums. They have three different types of books that you can get. They have Through the Eyes of, which that's what ours was, Through the Eyes of a Volcanologist. And so we got to see what a volcanologist does and then therefore learn about volcanoes. And so that's more of like a job shadowing approach. It's like job shadowing without having to go anywhere. There is Through the Skills of, so you will learn different skills and tactics which your family can implement and it's more like adventure based. 
and you learn different skills and put them into practice. And then they have in the steps of. This is where you really learn about a person who has been involved in an event or lives in a specific place and you learn from their experiences. So for example, they have holiday units, they have an ER unit, they have a home defense unit that one of my friends is using right now. They have a chef's unit. I mean, they have so many different things that you can be doing and they're putting out new ones all the time. So if you're wanting to test the waters of a unit study, but don't have the mental capacity or the time to put one together yourself, this is a great option for you. Whether you make it part of your everyday actual homeschool curriculum or whether you save it for a rainy day and you do it as something just kind of fun or extra on the side, it is a great curriculum. So let me know down below if you've tried any campfire curriculum products or if you've used any other curriculum for unit studies. Please subscribe if you haven't. My next video is going to be our curriculum unboxing and I am super excited for that one. So stay tuned. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.